it's Millie and thank you guys for jumping into the Nook Room with me today and we are at the start of a brand new TBR game in which I have M&M's help me pick my TBR. So as you guys know, TBR games are really, really popular in booktube. There are so many good ones, and of course we have the OG ones like Cody's um, Wheel of TBR from Cody's Book Corner, we have um, Becca's Bookopoly from Becca and the Books, and we have um, T TBR Pursuit from J.D. Ray Reads. So there's a bunch of TBR games out there on booktube. And you know what? Honestly, I've already seen like three or four having to do with M&Ms. So my idea is not original at all. Okay? I know that. And my game is also going to end up being really, really simple. But you know what? I tried making it complicated. And the problem is, is that I need to have a set of books that I'm planning to read for the month. So I need to have a set TBR list. But I'm also a mood reader. So if I get too specific with the books that I have to read, it almost pigeonholes me and it makes me more anxious and then my mood reading just comes out even more. So I'm having a really kind of like basic, easy, almost vague kind of TBR game just to give me like some insight into what I'm going to be reading, give me some direction, but not completely box me into some options. So my M&Ms are going to help me with that. So since this is the first round, I'm actually not even going to call it round one, I'm calling it round 0.5, um, just because I want to see how this goes and if I want to continue it into 2021, and then we'll have our official like round one starting January, but this is just kind of like our beta round just to see how it goes, um, and yeah, I just want to see if I want to keep to the rules as well, if I want to change things around before officially having this as my TBR game every month. So this is how the game is going to go pulling six different M&Ms and each color corresponds to a specific genre and um, it's honestly not that varied in terms of the genres I'm going to be picking. It's based on my reading taste and I am a really niche reading person. So like young adult fantasy, adult fantasy, and contemporary. Those are really the only three genres that I dive into. And so that's going to be reflective of my game. Now, if you want to do something similar to this and change around the genres for yourself, by all means, go ahead. But this game is really tailored to just me and my reading taste. So each color M&M corresponds to a specific genre. So the way I have it is red M&Ms are for new adult fantasies. So these are books that have been released within the last six months. Then we have orange. And orange is also adult fantasy, but this is specifically for backlisted books. So books that have been out for more than the past six months, which honestly is the majority of the books that I own for adult fantasy. Then we have yellow for contemporary. Now this could either be for YA contemporary or adult contemporary. I'm leaving it open to whatever I feel like. It's most likely going to be YA contemporary though, and it's also most likely going to end up being gay. It just happens. And then the next color is green, and that is for YA fantasy, and those are for new releases. Those are for any books that have come out within the last six months. Then we have blue, which is also YA fantasy, but it is backlisted. So any YA fantasy books that have been released before the past six months, which is also a majority of my owned books as well. And then lastly, we have our brown M&Ms, and those ones are going to be... Dun, 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 dun. I have in this little tiny cute box um, slips of papers that have different book titles, and these are all owned, unread books. And so this is supposed to really help me um, not only pick up a physical book, but also to really get through my backlisted books that I own and that I just haven't gone around to, they've just been sitting on my shelves. So for any of the other colors, I have the option of whether I want to read it as a physical copy if I already own it, or rent it out as an ebook or an audiobook. But for the brown ones, I have to read whichever one that I pick from here, and it also has to be a physical copy. And so it's kind of reinforcing getting through my already TBR books. 
but it's not a TBR game without a couple of rules that make it really entertaining for you guys and not so entertaining for me. And that's what happens if I get some like special patterns that equal an extra M&M that I pick up, which equals an extra book. So essentially, I have two kind of ways that I could end up reading more books than just the initial six that I pick. The first one is if I get two of the same color in a row. So let's say, for instance, I get a green M&M and then the following one directly after is another green M&M. That means that I automatically get an extra roll just added at the end. And by extra roll, I mean just like an extra M&M that I pick up from the back. And then the second way that I can get more books added to my TBR list is if I get three of the same colors in a round. And so each month is going to equal to one round. So since I'm picking like, let's say six books, and I get blue, yellow, blue, red, green, blue, I got the blue color three times. That means that I automatically have to get an extra book added. But if it's three of the same color, that means that I have somebody else pick that book for me. So if I ended up getting three blue M&Ms, that's for um, YA fantasy that's backlisted. That means that somebody else is going to pick that book for me and it has to fit in that specific genre. Um, so each time if I do get three colors, I'm going to pick someone um, hopefully different each time and it's most likely either going to end up being my mom or my best friend. But if neither of them are available, then it's going to be a pet pick and my dogs are going to pick that one for me. So we'll see how it goes. So I tried doing like a simulation of the game just to see what are the odds of me getting only six books or me getting more than six books. And the first time I played the game, I got exactly six books. The second time I played the game, I ended up getting some extras and so I went up to nine books. And then the third time I played, it got way out of hand and it got to 15 books before I finally just stopped playing the game because it was overwhelming and this was like a fake scenario. So this game has the possibility of either being really nice to me or a complete bitch. And it's going to change every month and we're going to see how it goes. So without further ado, let's do uh, round 0.5 of M&M's Pick My TBR. So as you guys can see, I have a fresh bag of M&M's. Each time I'm going to get a new bag and, you know, eat all of them after I finish filming. So let's open it up and see what we have. Okay. I feel nervous for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, I'm opening it up a little bit more just so that it's easier for me to grab. So, yeah. So you guys can see, but I'm not going to see at all. I'm just going to feel around. So, okay. All right, here's the first one. <gasps> yellow. Okay, so for yellow, we have contemporary. So it's either YA contemporary or adult. And you know what? For this one, I already know the perfect book I'm going to pick. So for my first book, I'm going to pick you're Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardner. Um, so I am excited. I haven't heard too much about this book, but I just kind of stumbled upon it and it seemed interesting enough for me. So I'm going to pick it up this month and see how it goes. Okay. M&M number two. <laughs> I already rolled a double. Are there like only yellows? No, there's more than just yellows. I'm just lucky, I guess. So I already have a double and it's another contemporary. Okay. I have to think about this. What's my other contemporary going to be? All right, for my second contemporary, I'm actually going to pick up The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery by Gabriel Zevin. Um, this one I actually borrowed from Ashley. And when I say borrow, I mean she put it in my hands and said, take it home and read it. Um, so I guess that's what I'm doing in December. And I actually have no idea what this book is about. Um, I just see a bookstore. So I'm assuming it has to do with someone who either goes to the bookstore or works at a bookstore and um, I have no idea but it is contemporary and hopefully I like it. By the way if you guys hear that like grinding noise in the background it is the people working on the roof of the apartment building and they're already like further down the street but you can still kind of hear some echoes of it so I'm sorry if the camera picks it up. I did try to wait until they were like mostly done in the afternoon but I'm also running out of like natural sunlight so I have to film so Hopefully they're not too loud. Okay, um, prompt M&M number three is 
blue. Okay, so blue is YA fantasy and it is the back. Okay, so for that one, I'm going to pick um, Up Ice and Shadows by Audrey Colthurst. Um, if you guys can see, I actually did start this book back in October, but then I had my fantasy burnout and so I decided to put this book aside and get back to it. So I'm going to get back to it this month. And also this cover just screams winter fantasy. So I'm actually really excited that I get to read it this month. So we'll see how it goes and I'll give you guys updated on if I like. Okay, book number four is going to be orange. Okay, so this is adult fantasy and it is backlisted. All right. For this one, I'm going to pick The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin. And the reason why is because I just read the first and second book of the Broken Earth trilogy in November. This is the third and final book of the trilogy, so I really want to get to this one. And I'm, I'm just so excited to finish this trilogy and just have my heart wrenched out with this book. So this is the next book that I'm going to end up picking. Okay, book number five is another double wait no no it's not a double it's not a double because it there was blue orange blue so not a double but it's another YA fantasy that's backless okay for book number five I am going to pick a torch against the night by Saba Tahir so this is the second book in the a number against the ashes quartet her fourth book comes out in December it is long awaited I'm just getting to this series I read the first book a couple months ago never got around to picking up the second book so I kind of want to continue on with this series, you know, just to see what all the hype is about. And I um, think it's a good time to continue finishing it rather than starting a new series. So getting to this one next. m and number six. If I get a yellow or a blue, then that's an extra roll and someone else has to pick my book. Or if I get another blue right now, it's automatically an extra. So not yellow and blue. Let's see. Ooh, okay, we have Red. So Red is a um, new release adult fantasy book. Not bad. Okay, so for book number six, I'm actually gonna be doing two books and one. And the reason why is because the book that I actually wanna do is called The Empress of Salt and Fortune by Mi Vo. Um, except that one came out in March, and so it's a little bit more than a new release. It came out like eight, nine months ago at this point. Um, however, her second novella for that series comes out this month, and that one is called When the Tiger Came Down the Mountain. And so I am planning on reading both of those because each one is just a little bit over a hundred pages, and so combined it's like not even like a medium-sized book. It's still a pretty much a short book. So I'm gonna read both of those novellas but counted under one book prompt. I don't know if I'm just making it worse for myself or not, especially since I already have an extra um, book roll, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. Okay, and for book number seven, our hopefully last one, let's see how this goes. I have green. Okay, I was kind of hoping to get this one because I have a lot of new YA fantasy books that I want to get to this month. All right, for this one, I am going to pick Legendborn by Tracy Dion. Um, this one just came out in, I think, October, and it's already been super hyped up, and I'm really excited to read this. I actually just got it as an ebook off Libby yesterday, and so it was gonna be one of my first reads in December regardless, but now I get to officially put it on my TBR. Um, so yeah, really excited for that one. So I have these four physical books that I am reading, plus um, three, no, four ebooks. Oh, oh my god, okay, so I have four physical books and four ebooks that I'm going to be reading this month, which is gonna be, end up being, yes, eight books. Um, on top of that, I had also planned on reading two other YA fantasy books, which brings my total up to ten. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> like, I, I'm not super busy this December, thankfully, but that's still a lot of books. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about punishments. Like, if I don't finish any of my eight books, what am I going to do? I'm not sure. I'm not really keen on punishments. Um, I know I have to have accountability, but, like, punishments are just going to make me more anxious, so... I don't know. We'll see how I do this month and we'll see what I decide for next month. So yeah, um, if you liked this TBR game, 
please let me know um, which books have you read or you're excited for me to read. Um, are any of these books coincidentally on your TBR for this month? And yeah, just um, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed my video and you want more of my bookish content. I'm Millie and thank you guys for jumping into the Nook Realm today. Bye!